Welcome to my Tantric Winter Meditation Journey. Today I'm going to teach you a Tantric Life Hack. I know last week's meditation was quite intense and it is going to take a lot of time and effort to perfect it. So I thought today, just for a change, we'll do something instant instead. Today you're going to learn how to use sound vibrations to awaken your nerve endings. Basically, how to improve your concentration, how to increase your productivity, but how to do it instantly. Now, we're going to keep it really simple. Basically, as you exhale, you're going to add a vibrating sound to your breath. Now, for this meditation, your spine needs to be nice and straight. Whether you're sitting or standing, it doesn't matter. The spine must be nice and straight so that the energy can flow unhindered. Your breath, in this particular meditation, you will breathe in and out deeply and slowly through both nostrils. So the mouth will not be used for breathing at all. The mouth must remain carefully closed. The breathing will happen only through the nostrils. So you breathe in deeply and slowly till you fill up your lungs with air, consciously fill them up with air. And as you exhale extremely slowly, Push your lower diaphragm up so that you encourage the lungs to expel all of the air that is inside them. And as you exhale, the sound is added. Now, for today's meditation, we're going to add the sound at two separate pitches. A slightly lower one, and a slightly higher one. And Today, we'll define the pitch with the notes, with the swaras, sa and re. Okay, so let's do this together one time. Oh, I'm putting my hand up over here because I'm covering up the mic so it won't get too loud. It's not part of the meditation technique. Here are the rules for this meditation. It needs to be done for a minimum of 15 minutes. You can go up to 20, 25 minutes, not too much longer, but no less than 15 minutes. Take it nice and slow. Take the time to fill your lungs completely and to empty them completely. Don't be in a rush to go from one breath to the next. Make sure that the sound does not come from your throat. If you start to feel any of the vibrations in your throat, Stop immediately, start again, because it should all be isolated just around over here and all the buzz should be felt around here. The breath when you exhale needs to be really strong. So if your breath breaks in the middle like mm, stop and start again, it needs to be really strong for it to have the impact. Don't worry if you can't maintain it for too long. As you practice it, your breathing pattern will become longer and stronger. What time to do it? You can do it at any time that you want. You can do it first thing in the morning. You can do it before you go for a meeting, before you go for exams, before you sit down to study, pretty much at any point. And you can do it as often as you need during the day. Because this literally will just help you to regain your concentration. And the side effect of this particular meditation is that it makes your voice more powerful. So if you're going on a Zoom call, this is really helpful. Now, basically, when you do this exercise, you will feel an intense amount of buzzing in this entire region of your head. Eventually, you'll be able to do this particular exercise with all the different swaras when your your, um, lungs get stronger. Because each swara, each note has its own different set of nerve endings. And you can literally use this exercise, it's breathing techniques, to awaken all the 52 shaktis in your body. But for today, we're just going to focus on awakening our brains. I'm not going to tell you how this will make you feel. Even if you do two cycles of it, you'll actually notice the difference for yourself. It's like a really vigorous massage clubbed together with a lot of happy thoughts. It's an amazing exercise. It just fully energizes you. 
This one is a particularly simple exercise to do. I really hope that you will all do it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.